Wave your hand again. Thank him. He's worthy. No one like him. Blessed be God forevermore. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have given time. Will you join me? Lift up your two hands. Father, we have seen your goodness. We have enjoyed your kindness. We've seen your mighty hand in our lives, in our families, in our career businesses, in our church, in our nation, in all the nations of the earth. We've seen how you humiliated coronavirus and all the perpetrators of the evil. You humiliated them. You have put them to shame. Father, we are thankful to you in Jesus' precious name. We we'll thank you for exposing all the evil workers. All who are looking for how to depopulate what you have populated. All who are working contrary to your word, you say replenish the heart. They say diminish the heart. You have turned their diminishing to the diminishing of their destiny. Yes. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the healings. Thank you for the testimonies. To you be glory forever. And all the saints of God in the house say very loud, Amen. Amen. Say with me, thank you, Jesus. Amen. To God be the glory forever. In Jesus' wonderful name. Before you take your seat, ask God to speak to you this morning. Father, send your word to me this morning. Now, be very specific. Lighten my path by your word this morning. Bless me this morning. Change my story this morning by your word. Change my story this world this morning by your word. Send your word to me, even the word of life. Change my story today. Give me a total turnaround. Give me a total turnaround. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are prayed. Somebody say it loud, amen. amen. Please get seated. Amen. Turn to your neighbors right, left, and say to them, I thank God for you. That you are alive and well. I rejoice with you. I'm grateful to God for you. Amen. Give God another big hand one more time, if you can, please. Welcome again to this very glorious end of the month, Thanksgiving, which we have not been able to do in March and April till now. So this is three months combined to the glory and praise of our God. Aren't you glad you are back in the sanctuary? Amen. No place like the house of God. Thank God for our houses, but nothing like the house of God. The scripture recognizes fellowship in the temple and in the house. Acts chapter 2, verse 46. They were praising God. They were having fellowship, 46, in the temple and in house, from house to house. We've been doing from house to house the last 10 to 12 weeks. Now we are back to the temple. Because in his temple, this is glory. Psalm 29 verse 9, in his temple, they speak of his glory. In his temple, everyone speak of his glory. Now, the glory of the temple descend upon you right now. <laughs> like to commend us all again, those of us who are just coming in today, for all of the goodwill we extended one to another as members of the family of Christ, especially from Goshen here. It's amazing to know that in the course of the shutdown, nobody lacked anything. I'd like to commend all of you that allow God to use you to supply to the needs of others. 
in addition to what the church did first, second, third time in catering for the material needs of the brethren. The Lord who sees you in the secret shall reward you in the open. In the precious name of Jesus. Those who needed welfare before will never need it again. Because God will use you to meet the need of others. In the time of famine, you shall be well fed. In Jesus' glorious name. It is my year of breaking limits. Our prophetic theme for the month of May is I am for signs and wonders. Somebody say that with me right now. Confidently. Isaiah 8, 18 is a prophetic scriptures. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord had given me are for signs and for wonders. This is Jesus speaking about you and I. Jesus' command of signs and wonders is meant to be perpetuated by us. It's a continuous experience of the church. The Lord said to my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until I make all thine enemies thy fools too. So the supernatural did not end with Jesus. It was extended to the first church and extended to us. Say again, I am for signs and wonders. One more time. Everyone who have said it, you will have it in the name of Jesus. Commanding the supernatural is our teaching of series. I mean, our, our series of teaching. And we're looking at fact 4B in this service. Commanding the supernatural. Will you please say with me again, I am a commander of the supernatural. The word command also means attract. You are to be attracting the supernatural. The supernatural is what gives back to signs and wonders. So we can as well say commanding signs and wonders. You are not to look for it. It is to follow you. When you stand up, it stands up. When you sit down, it sits down with you. This sign shall follow them that believe in Jesus. Mark 16, 17. And that is what makes you a commander. The things following you is what makes you the commander of those things. From henceforth, signs and wonders, and only signs and wonders will be following you. Yeah. What are the things following you? Aha, uh -huh. say it louder. Even from the service today, wake up in the morning tomorrow, all through next week, all through the new months, raise your voice and pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Pray in the language of the Spirit. They must follow you. They must follow me. Miracles, signs and wonders. Hallelujah. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Very important. If you don't know who you are, you will miss what belongs to you. Identity is key to possession. Only those who know who they are will possess what belongs to them. Only those who know who they are will possess what belongs to them. Studio, please control your sound. Only those who know who they are will be entitled to their possession. Many are robbed of what belongs to them. Not because Satan is powerful, but because they don't know who they are. As we receive this word this morning, may your eyes be open to discover you. May you discover you. Self-discovery is the master discovery. Until you discover who you are, you never discover what is yours. Who you are before what is yours.
Redemption changed your status. And therefore, the revelation of who you are is based on redemption, on your new birth, your new status in Christ. Number one, I am redeemed an ambassador of Christ on the earth. What does that mean? Ambassador means representative. As Jesus is in heaven, so you are on earth. You are the connecting point between heaven and earth. You are the duplicator of what heaven stands for on earth. The American ambassador in Nigeria is in display of the power and wealth of America. When American ambassador speaks in Nigeria, it is like the president of America speaking. That's why Jesus said, I give to you the keys of the kingdom. Whatever you say on earth here, yeah, heaven responds. Whatever you shall lose on earth here, yeah, because you are ambassador representing the heaven, heaven will listen to you. And whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Confidently say to yourself, I am an ambassador for Christ. I want that consciousness to be strong inside you. You are so important that he appointed you to be his ambassador. Whatsoever you endorse on hearts is endorsed in heaven. Now, Elijah, look at the example of ambassadors. Elijah understood his position as an ambassador of God. How? He stood up one day and said, there shall not be rain for three years, except I say so again. And heaven said, confirmed. And so heaven held back the rain. And after three years, Elijah said, now heaven, open. I hear the sound of abundance of rain. And God said, Open it for him. Say with me, ambassador. Say it again, ambassador. Is that who you are? Say it to yourself. You are a representative of Christ. Who said so? The word of God. Don't feel so. Believe so. An appointed ambassador doesn't ask himself the question, am I really representing my nation here? No. He goes with the confidence to meet the president of the nation to which he sent. Moses understood that he was God's ambassador. So he went to Pharaoh. I am. I sent me. Now, almighty God sent me. So he went as a God to Pharaoh. God told him, I have made you a God to Pharaoh because you are my ambassador. See, God is telling someone this morning, see, I have made you, not I will make you. As God is in heaven, so you are a God here. Tell your neighbor you are a God here. Is he looking at you? Don't worry about coronavirus. <laughs> it has died already. Is that not the prayer you prayed? Uh -huh. So do you think he's still alive? It has died. It has died. God has made you a God to coronavirus. It will not enter your house. 
it will not enter to the compound where you live. It will not be on the street where you live. It will not be in the community where you live. Coronavirus is dead forever. Why? You are an ambassador. Now, please note. Every assignment God gives enjoys the backing of God. If it is from God, it will enjoy the backing from God. As an ambassador, you have duties and benefits. What is your duty? You go on the behalf of Jesus. What is the benefit? You enjoy humanity. Go on his behalf. Enjoy humanity from him. Be loyal to him to enjoy the royalty of an ambassador. Serve like an ambassador to enjoy the rewards of an ambassador, which includes good health. A faithful ambassador is health. Proverbs 13, 17. When I sent you without pause and script, did you lack anything? Ambassadors don't lack food. They don't lack resources. Luke 22, 35. Every ambassador that is committed to his assignment is bound to enjoy humanity. As ambassador, we are to reconcile people to Christ. We are to bring people back home who are backsliding. May you receive grace to do that. Amen. Number two, who am I? I am redeemed a star after the order of Christ. What about star? Star represents shining. From this season, you will shine. Amen. I didn't hear somebody say amen. amen. Your obscurity will give way to limelight. Amen. Say it loud, amen. No. From that corner, God is bringing you to publicity. From local, God is turning you global. I speak to you by the word of the Lord, according to the status he's given to you in redemption, and by the power that back up this commission, that has made this commission to be shining and shining and shining, your destiny will be shining and shining and shining. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18, their past of the righteous is as a shining light you are meant to be a shining light shining more and more Jesus came from the day he was born he was a star the wise men said we have seen his star we have seen his star the world will see your star yeah. say loud amen just like you hear winners, they say, that's the church. From today, wherever your name is mentioned, they will say, that is the person. <laughs> your church is a shining star. Your destiny, your business must become shining one. <laughs> Revelation 22 verse 16, Jesus introducing himself said, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto thee these things in the churches. I am the root of the offspring of David and the bride, the bride and morning star. Bright means you cannot deny it. If it's bright, it's bright. You can't be asking what is that. It's bright already. Early. Whatever is delaying your shining is taken out of the way today. And Jesus said, as the Father has sent me, so send I you, John 21, 20. But for you to shine, you have to do the work of Christ. The benefit you enjoy from Christ is determined by the responsibility you accept on the behalf of Christ. Look at this. In a family setting, the only way for you to earn respect is to live responsibly. Nobody cares to find out your age if you are responsible. A need arises in the family. You are number four or number five child and you are meeting the need. You become the celebrated. 
you become the celebrated. You become the celebrity. Why? You accepted responsibility to earn the respect. In the same way for you to shine, you have to accept responsibility to doing what Christ did. The big question is, what did Christ do to shine? Daniel chapter 12, verse 3. And they that be wise shall shine. So Jesus operated in wisdom to shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many others unto righteousness as the stars forever. How did Jesus demonstrate wisdom to shine? Proverbs 11.30 He that winneth souls is wise. So Jesus was a soul winner. He was a soul winner. How do we know that? John chapter 4 verses 34 to 36 Jesus said my meat, my duty is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. And what is his work? Say not ye that there are four more months and then the harvest will come. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look on, on the field and they are white already to harvest. So Jesus was an avesta, a vesta of soul. And verse 36, he said, he that repaid, received wages. So Jesus was a soul winner. He was working to shine. He that turneth many to righteousness shall shine a star. So Jesus was shining because he was turning away many to righteousness. John 9, 4 and 5. Jesus declaring, I must walk the works of him that sent me. While it is day, the night cometh when no man shall do the work. And for as long as I do this work, I am the light of the world. He was giving light to people light of the world so do the same go and be a soul winner go and be turning many to righteousness bring back the backsliders see to their establishment in the kingdom pray them in pray them to remain pray them to take root downward so they can bear fruit Upward. Somebody say amen. amen. Do you want to be a shining star? Keep turning many unto righteousness. Now, if God has made me a commander of signs and wonders, what does it take? What instruments do I need? Because every commander has instrument of office. For instance, if you're a king, you have what they call the staff of office. The staff of office. You have a scepter that you use to demonstrate your authority. Remember, in the days of Esther, the king stretched the scepter to her, connoting anything you want, ask. So you need certain staff in your hand. Moses had the rod as his staff. And one of such that we need to command the supernatural is the power in the name of of Jesus. Somebody shout it with me, the name of Jesus. Yes. Say it with authority. Yes. Satan is afraid. Say it again. Yes. I command that all the devils tormenting you bow in that name. Yes. Please note. Every messenger goes with the backing of the name to deliver his message. In the natural, for instance, if somebody sent you somewhere and you don't want to waste time, what do you do? 
you quickly mention the name of that person. Am I right? If a minister in the government gives you a note to go somewhere, what do you do? Yes, can we help you? We say, yes, I'm here in the name of so, so, so minister. Open, open, open the door, open the door. Let him enter. It's not you they open the door for, it is a name that you went with. Is it making sense? Jesus knew it was time for him to go. And one of the things he gave to us is his name. Now, long before then, when he sent his disciples, Luke 9, 1 and 2, we saw what Jesus did. He called them and gave them power. Look at that. He gave them power. In addition to power, he gave them authority. That authority is his name. He gave them the anointing and he gave them his name over all devils and to cure diseases. And he sent them with power and authority to deliver the message of the kingdom and to heal the sick. And in chapter 10, verse 17, hear what they said and the 70 returned again with joy saying lord even the devils are subject unto us how through the authority in your name satan doesn't fear you but he fears the authority you have authority means do this on my behalf are you there? For instance, you want visa to travel and you go to the visa office. They tell you, will you put the name of the person to come to collect your passport on your behalf? That is, you authorize the person to go there on your behalf. Jesus couldn't go everywhere, so he gave his name to those whom he sent, like you. They were subject to us, not because they like us, but because of your name. Look at this. Elijah just left. He was fully recognized by the devil. But here comes a young man who is new, Elijah. Satan doesn't know him. So what did he do? In the name of the God of Elijah! Then the devils quickly remembered that there was one Elijah. Open, 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 Jordan, open, open. Because if Elijah gets angry, he can tell Jordan to dry. So there is authority in the name. Authority in the name. Peter said, what I have, I give unto you. If I say it in my name, it may not happen. But if I say it in the name of Jesus, it must happen. So what do you do? Business is not moving. In the name of Jesus, business move. Are you hearing me? Children are getting sick. You don't know what to do again. You found devil. Spirit of infirmity in my family. Live now. In the name of Jesus. That's how you get it done. Many years back, we had pastors meeting at our headquarters in Lagos. And some pastors were traveling by road and they got to Jebba. The pastor driving said, suddenly he received a word in his mind. You will have accident now and all of you in the vehicle will die. So what did he do? In the name of Jesus. And guess what happened? The trailer 
next to them just had tire bust. Wow! Satan told them, your car tire will bust, all of you will die. He resisted it in the name of Jesus, and that devil jumped from him to the trailer. Say with me, I have the name of Jesus. Say it again, somebody. He said, in whatsoever you do, do it in the name of the Lord. That name will work as if Jesus were with you in that situation personally. That's the meaning of authority. Authority means stand on my behalf. Use my name to get what you want. Didn't Jesus said, anything you ask the Father, I will do it because my name is there. So every time you are praying and you say in the name of Jesus, because Jesus is seated at the right hand of God, you'll be tapping him. Father, yeah. He's calling my name. Answer him. In the name of Jesus. Jesus said, Father, he's calling my name. Don't disappoint him. Answer him now. You know what to do therefore? Be confident. Every time you apply the name, be confident. Somebody say amen. Jesus gave you his name to bring you to equality of power with him. Now, he said, if you believe in my name, you will cast out devils, you will lay hands on the sick, and they shall be rescued. All power in heaven and on earth is given to me, Jesus said in Matthew 28, verse 18. He said, therefore, go in my name. Go ye therefore, verse 19, into all nations. And look, I am with you by my name. Now, what is in the name therefore? Quickly, number one, the name of Jesus is pregnant with wonders. So you want to see wonder? Jesus. Jesus. You are stepping out of your house in the morning. Jesus. You know what you are saying? Wonders. Jesus, wonders. Everywhere I go today, wonders must follow me. Isaiah 9, 6, what is in that name? Anointing. Power. The name is self-anointed. Songs of Solomon chapter 1, verse 3. Mark 9, 33, 34. Aeneas, the Lord Jesus Christ, make you whole. Acts chapter 9, not Mark, please. Acts chapter 9, verses 33 and 34. And he jumped up immediately. Number 3, all satanic powers bow to that name. They can't say no to that name. Philippians 2, 10, 11, at the name of Jesus, every, 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 every knee shall bow. Of the things celestial, of the things terrestrial, and of the things aquatic. Anywhere they are, they bow. Mami water spirit. Wow. Obanje spirit. Which is in the air. Evil birds flying. Bow. No devil flies over your house again. No devil cries around your window again. In the precious name of Jesus. But for the name to walk, you have to be loaded with the word. You know, the Bible says, God has exalted his word above his names. That is to say, the name cannot walk without the word. One man rose up one day and said, in the name of Jesus, whom Paul preached. Paul was preaching the name because he has the word. 
this man was calling the name he does not know. It is knowledge of the word that gives value to the name. And the man said, well, I know Paul is preaching the word. You, you are just calling the name. Empty. Gave him a knock. Drove him out of the way. So you have to be word loaded. The word is the platform for the use of the name. The word is a platform for the use of the name. Do you want the name to be effectual? Then you have to create a platform of the word and speak it out boldly. Somebody say amen to that. Amen. The word will keep working for you. Amen. And finally, by the reason of your thanksgiving this morning, your level is changing. Your level is changing. Now that the church is open, the church will enter into the phase of growth. Everything you have thanked God for today will only multiply. Wave your hand again and say, thank you, Jesus. Are you blessed this morning? Now. One thing that God cannot stand is hypocrisy. You can commit any sin, God will forgive you. But hypocrisy will not allow him to help you. The Lord asked me to tell somebody here this morning that if you be sincere, he will help you. Many come to church, they play the hypocrisy insincere they are like ostrich hiding the head when the body is showing can you hide anything from God no give it all to him you know that thing that is standing between you and God that secret sin that thing you are hiding in your house that thing inside your fridge that nobody else sees you know that room you have in your house that your wife cannot enter. You know those secrets you have in the telephone that makes you to go to the bedroom with your telephone because nobody should see it. The pornography and all the evil that Satan has held you down with. There are things you even feel so bad talking about that is holding you down. Jesus is saying, let me help you. That heavy heart, that sorrow, that guilt that you are suffering, Jesus is the key. He came to give to you and I the free gift of eternal life. I perceive the Spirit of God is talking to someone here this morning. If you are the one and you want to give your life to Jesus, sincerely, just as you are, he will take you. He will not condemn you. Just as you are. You have seen how naked you are. Jesus, I need your mercy. Please forgive me. He's ready to do so right now. If you're in that condition, let us pray together. Will you stand to your feet? You want to give your life to Jesus? You want to be born again? You want your sins forgiven you? Jesus will write it off as if it never existed. You are watching us live in this service across the globe, wherever you are. Jesus is talking to you to surrender your life to him. Will you also stand wherever you are, whether you are alone or you are in a group of persons? Stand to your feet. Somebody else is here, you gave your life to Jesus before, but you backslid it. And you know it. You know you have disaligned from God. Ah. And Jesus is calling you, my son, my daughter, come back home. He will not condemn you for falling. Satan will only condemn you for remaining in the fallen state. He's been looking for you. During this lockdown, you lock down spiritually. Will you open up again? Jesus wants to receive you. Wherever you are, please stand to your feet as well. All of you who have stood up and those of you who will join them, start coming to the altar. Quickly do that. We have limited time. Rush to the altar right now. Come with your Bible and anything you come to church with from everywhere. 
from the gallery if you're in the auditorium here this morning come 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 right now quickly don't hesitate don't hold back somebody is still seated you know you should be here hasten your step hasten your step church celebrate jesus as they come what a day satan is losing jesus is winning satan is losing jesus is winning come 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 very fast come very fast those of you who are out there watching us live stand up as well come quickly god bless you what a day now i perceive in my heart there are not less than 10 more people who are seated who should stand up and you know yourself you know yourself you know you can't hide from god you can't hide from God. forget about those who are next to you stand up right now jump up right now run down here yes 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 they are coming church one more time a big hand for jesus what a day all the backsliders are getting restored thank you mighty father now all of you out here and those watching us lift up your right hand bow your head pray this prayer loud say with me lord jesus louder if you can lord jesus have mercy on me save me today give me new life give me a new beginning make me a child of god from now i denounce satan i forsake my sins i come to jesus as my lord and my savior thank you for saving me i'm now a child of god jesus christ is my lord amen father forgive all of these precious souls give them a new beginning in jesus precious name amen please open your eyes if you pray that prayer say with me i am now born again god bless you congratulations will you please allow our church officials to attend to you as they direct you either to the right or to the left we love you church a big hand as they go god bless you god bless you god bless you hallelujah all of you who are connected with us live from across the globe please do what you find on the screen out there take your telephone right now if you gave your life to jesus just simply text yes jesus i want to be able to reach you with a message on those telephones quickly text yes jesus with your name and the town and the city where you are at the moment and i can assure you within 24 hours we'll be reaching out to you with acknowledgement of your salvation and goodwill for you if you have more things to write the email address is there the whatsapp number is also there please take advantage of that for counseling for prayer and all of the things you need will be out there to serve you and to help you get established in the faith god bless you mightily in jesus precious name thank you jesus thank you jesus give god another big hand everybody for salvation of souls this morning hallelujah <laughs> ah for your thanking god today is stepping you up in the month of june the month of june will be month of step up step up step up step up step up it will be month of supernatural turnaround it will be to you month of supernatural turnaround all of you that will encounter supernatural turnaround say a very loud amen raise your voice begin to declare everything is turning around for my good everything is turning around for me 